We are at the facilities of the Unit of Environmental Science and Technology at the National Technical University of Athens. Apart from the unit's educational activity, which constitutes the unit's major activity, significant research is being carried out in various environmental-related fields, alongside its participation in numerous European, national and international projects. Besides the academic personnel, the unit occupies postdoc researchers as well as PhD candidates. The entire working group is being fully supported by the academic personnel of the unit, along with specialized technicians. The personnel of the working group consists of scientists from different disciplines such as physicists, chemists, chemical engineers, civil engineers, etc. An interdisciplinary approach is followed in order to address the existing environmental problems, since a standalone discipline is not sufficient and the best solutions can be provided when scientists from different science fields collaborate effectively. Currently, we are focusing on our European project entitled Dry Waste, which is co-funded by the European Commission under the framework of the Life Plus financial instrument. This project has been approved by the European Commission since 2009. The National Technical University of Athens is a coordinator of the project, while the Papagos Cholargos Municipality is the associated beneficiary of the project. The idea of the development of the waste drying device is based on the fact that the moisture content of household organic waste ranges between 60 to 95 percent by weight, values that are considered to be particularly high. Therefore, moisture removal from the waste will significantly reduce their mass and volume. The system comprises of the following five parts. The first part is the drying chamber which is made from ceramic material in order to provide the necessary tolerance against elevated temperatures developed in the inner part of the dryer. Within this chamber, the drying process of the household organic waste takes place at temperatures ranging between 70 and 80 degrees Celsius. The second basic part of the system is the basket used for the organic waste collection which is placed in the inner part of the drying chamber. The user places the organic waste that needs to be dried inside the basket in order to remove its moisture content. The capacity of the basket is approximately 3 kg of organic waste. The third basic part is the active carbon filter which is placed on top of the device. This is used for odor removal in order to prevent potential nuisance to the user during the drying process of waste. The fourth part of the device is the leachate collection plate which is placed right under the drying basket. The plate is used for the collection of leachates that may leak when organic waste is placed into the dryer and when the drying process takes place. Finally, the last part of the system is the air heating system, which is located inside the chamber, right under the leachate collection plate. The role of this part of the system is to create the proper conditions inside the waste dryer that will ensure efficient drying of the organic waste. All the electromechanical parts of the system can be found in a kitchen. The blower is part of an oven air heater, the thermal resistance can be found in every oven thermal plate, and the odor removal filter can be found in every ventilating hood. The organic waste drying system is placed in a covered area outside the household with a supply socket. Alternatively, it can be placed inside the house in a well-ventilated area, for example near a window, so that the evaporated water emitted during waste dryer operation is removed. The drying system can only be used for the drying of the following organic waste. In the dry waste system, we must not put waste such as The 
The device operates continually for a period of eight hours. This is the duration that is required for the drying of about half a kilogram of household organic waste, according to analysis that have been conducted in our laboratory. In addition, an advantage of the drying process is that the final product could be managed more easily, as it is fully stabilized because it does not have any pathogenic microorganisms, a factor which is very important when it comes to waste management. The dried material can be used for the production of added value products. Amongst others, it could be used for the production of green energy through thermal treatment. Moreover, the dried material could be used for the production of biofuels such as bioethanol and biodiesel. It's worth mentioning that this product could also be used for the production of compost and biogas. The system is mainly made of ceramic material which has great tolerance and low maintenance requirements. The maintenance cost of the device is very low as the activated carbon filter is the only part that needs replacement every three to six months depending on usage. There are three parts that need maintenance. The basket in which the waste is collected can be cleaned approximately once a week. The leachate collection plate can also be cleaned once a week. The odor removal filter should be replaced every three to six months. The main advantages associated with the operation of the system are Household waste drying is a method that has not been used internationally until now and it is expected to give significant environmental, economic and social benefits with regard to municipal solid waste management. Within this framework, a household waste drying device was designed, constructed and it is currently in operation providing very promising results. The dry waste system is one of the most reliable solutions with regard to bio-waste management since the obtained results are not affected by external factors, thus providing the means for effective national waste management planning. <laughs>